Hey, this is Chris. Today we're going to be doing a Kaspersky Internet Security Review. Actually, I'm going to be looking at the Kaspersky's total security software, but there's only a few differences between that and the uh, Internet Security. And if you go to KIS Trial or K Kaspersky Internet Security, uh, KIS, trial.com the links also directly under this video it'll bring you to this page where currently you can save 50 percent off of it or you can download a trial version and test it out if you scroll down here a little bit you'll see a little section like this here and if you choose all it'll bring up all the tools that they have and a lot of them have free trials where you can download them to try it if you've never used Kaspersky's antivirus firewall or internet security tools before so once you get Kaspersky's Internet Security or Total Security installed, you're going to have a few icons on your desktop you may not have noticed before. One of them is for the uh, entire tool itself, and then there's one for safe money, one for a password manager as well. And what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the Kaspersky Total Security tool. And you can see this is the main dashboard. Very easy to use, very easy to understand and um, with this tool it kind of lays out everything very for someone who doesn't really understand how all of the antivirus malware and firewall stuff works um, it does a very well job of just putting it all here for someone to access it easily and to turn it on to turn it off or to make simple adjustments or improvements with that said it's also got a lot of options for someone who wants to do more with it than that and take specific control over applications, files, and folders. Uh, you can do that as well. So we can see here on the dashboard we have several options. The first one is the scan, which allows us to do a full scan or an entire computer scan. There's a quick scan, which scans, you can see here, a quick scan of objects that are loaded with the operating system at startup. So this doesn't scan near as many files. It does a much quicker job of it, but it does scan a lot of the startup files so it can detect if there's anything wrong or anything infected within your system as it boots. There's also a selective scan where you can choose certain files or folders to scan, and you can also scan external devices, and you can scan or schedule your scans as well. Next is a database update where if you purchase the Kaspersky's um, Internet Security or Total Security, it will run automatically and it will do these updates so you won't have to worry about it. The safe money option. Uh, this is really neat, especially if you are really concerned about your uh, protection of buying things online. Uh, this is Kaspersky's own browser that it runs. It's a very secure browser that you can use when you sign in to specific websites and if you want to pay bills online or do any kind of ordering online you can see here if I click on this link right here which I currently have saved in the protected browser it brings up the Kaspersky's browser and you can see it's outlined here glowing in green kinda of letting me know that hey this is you know Kaspersky's browser we're using and everything is going to be secure that we're doing on here and I can make orders while I'm using this uh, pay my bills online and not have to worry about it okay so next we have the password manager which allows you to save and store all of your passwords for all of your accounts uh, securely so you can quickly and easily access those it has a privacy protection which will allow you to block your webcam access to um, other applications or things that are running on your computer so you don't have to worry about it secretly spying on you there's also a private browser or private browsing and, and what this does this basically allows uh, Kaspersky to uh, block a lot of stuff that websites have that allows it to track you so when you go online and you go to all these social sites they put all this stuff on your computer that allows these companies these businesses to track you to see where you go uh, in many cases what you even type and you can see here how many attempts were made and this has just been over the past two days to collect to collect data from my computer has been over 2626 attempts from uh, these different things here uh, next we have backup and restore which allows you to backup and restore files uh, to a removable drive or to an online storage that way if you do happen to lose things you can come back in here and select files to uh, restore them and restore them back so you don't have to worry about losing things 
There's a parental control option. This one comes with the Kaspersky's total security. And when you go in here, you have options to do all kinds of stuff. This is this is actually a really good parental control tool if you have kids or uh, even teenagers to control and monitor how often they access the computer, what they can do on the computer, different types, types of sites they can visit. Uh, options here to access restrictions based on weekdays, weekends, time breaks. You can block games, restrict use of applications, internet access restriction. You can control their web browsing and blocking of file downloading of audios, videos, uh, social networking restrictions, and further content control based upon keywords. And lastly, we have protection for all devices. So if you do get the Kaspersky's total security, um, or even the internet security, uh, they do come with different options for being able to install on different devices and how many licenses you get to install on each one. And what's great about this is that if you use this through one account, um, you can use the same email when you sign in. Uh, if you're signing in from your Android phone or iPhone or, or your computer or laptop or tablet and it syncs everything together. So your, your passwords and all that stuff can be saved through uh, one account if you have Kaspersky's total security or internet security. If we click on more tools, it's gonna to show us here that we have all kinds of stuff. Um, like I said, these are just additional options. You don't have to use any of these, uh, but they're here if you do, if you just wanna mess around with it. You can see more details about what's running on your computer, about the type of uh, information that's being transferred to and from your computer, different reports, uh, software updater, which will automatically check your computer for software updates for uh, certain softwares that you have installed. It can clean software, encrypt data, uh, secure connections, cloud protection. It has an on-screen keyboard, so um, it's, it's a more secure way of entering or typing in letters and numbers so they can't be seen as easily if someone's trying to hack into your computer. And then we can get down here to settings and it gives us even more control over uh, the protection which allows us to quickly and easily turn it on or off if by chance we were having problems maybe trying to install something new on our computer. And if we think that might be uh, because of the uh, antivirus tool we have or internet firewall, we can turn it off right here and we can check it and see if that will fix the problem or not. Different protections, we can turn them on or off for each one. So if we want to leave just the antivirus on, turn everything else off, uh, all we have to do is just come over here, tick the box, and say yes, continue, or to cancel. Gives us a few options for performance, some options for scanning, and other additional options. So this is Kaspersky's total security, and like I said, it is pretty much the th same thing as Kaspersky's internet security, except for the additional features of the parental control um, and also the password manager. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and download the free trial or you can upgrade or install the latest version of Kaspersky's Total Security or Kaspersky's Internet Security by going to kistrial.com or just by clicking the link directly under this video.